Hey everyone, we're back again. Notice this little guy. I did a review on it and it's been getting some decent numbers. And um, people have asked me, how do you install one of these? People that I know, there's no comments of people asking if how to install this. But what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go ahead and install this the way that my competitor would install them or in theory and it requires fishing rods, ethernet cable, and a plethora of tools, <clears throat> which are all right here. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna stick this fishing rod up the wall, drill a hole, a bigger hole, not a hole that small, and see if I can fish a cable through the wall. Now, I wish this was in a better well-lit area, but this is the best we can do. So we found our outlet, and what we're gonna do is we only have a certain amount of space we can carve out from here. So if you carve out any more farther, it's, it's gonna show on the wall. So if you notice right there, it's starting to show a little bit. If you carve out any more farther, it's gonna look ugly. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my fishing rod. <clears throat> Try that again. <clears throat> okay, if it goes into that wall that easy, that means there's no fire blocking studs in the way. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is go on the other side. And before we go to the other side, I'm gonna pull measurements from the window. So that's where the wall is at. So from the window frame, which is more over here, from the window frame, I have to go about to get it to clear on a stud. Uh, about 14 and a half to 15 inches. Okay, so now we're gonna go and drill that hole. So for this measure, I'm gonna take off my masonry bit here out of my tool bag there should be here you go this is a diamond tipped uh i forget the name of this but this is used for like to drill through countertops but i use this for stucco i don't know if i should or shouldn't but it does a clean job and it works so okay i think there's that got the tape measure let's go outside okay so we're in the backyard now and sorry for all the stupid annoying dogs that I have, but I don't really live here, so I can't complain. 14 inches, 15 from the windowsill. I'm gonna put the camera right about up there. But from this windowsill, it is 14 and a half. There you go, now I know where to drill through because I don't have a pen on me. All right. Ooh, there's insulation in there, that's gonna be fun. Oh God. Okay. So I made the hole, there's no going back. Oh, there's the, no way. That's it. I actually feel it within the wall. There's no way it dug itself into the freaking wall. Yep, there it is. Okay. I got really lucky. 
I'm gonna push it up a little bit and see what happens. Okay. Okay. Ha, <laughs> look at that. There's the fishing rod. I'm gonna have to grab a pair of pliers to pull that through. So, I wanted to get the camera up close, but whenever you fish through a wall, you wanna drill in at an angle so you can easily push the fishing rod up. But there you go. Uh, we got it. And now we're gonna add the cable and fish the wire through. Boom, boom, boom. Cut that end off. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape this on. Now I'm gonna shove it down. <sighs> shove it down in there so the wire doesn't. So what I just did there is I shoved it in so if I pull the cable, if I pull this fishing line in, it doesn't get caught on here and it rips off and then I cry. So this is plenty enough slack. Now from in here, you pull nice and gently. You take your time. You don't rush it. Cause if you lose this inside of the wall, you gotta start this all over again. And just like that, I have created, I'm gonna give this so much slack. So in the future, my dad decides to move this he can do that with these. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put this back on, but this has to go on a certain way. There, that's not coming out. The cable will reach. Let's peel the tape off. This gets moved up to there. And then, yeah, surge protector problem. Does this, does this rotate? No. Well, I guess it goes on this way. And I gotta pull more slack. That goes up and over, pull a little more. All right, let's make the cable. Okay, we're back. We're now gonna go ahead and terminate it. Mm, I'm missing a tool. Okay, I had to go to my vehicle. I had a uh, grab some more. I need more than that. Not that much. Okay. Wish there was better lighting in here for this, but there's only so much I can do. Let's 
So it goes white, orange, orange. It goes the white, green. It goes dark blue, light blue. It goes dark green, white, brown, brown. That is the standard type B. And it is the only standard I use. I don't use any other, I don't use type A. And I verify, we go white, orange, orange, white, green, dark blue, light blue, uh, dark green, white, brown, brown. Okay. Make your end. Plug it in on this side of the camera. Nothing's gonna happen because it's not programmed yet or configured. So I'm gonna go ahead, get rid of that. Go outside and install that camera. Okay. Since there's a lot of slack here, uh, I guess there's not a lot of slack. I'm gonna go ahead, terminate this. Do the same thing inside as what we did outside. We're gonna terminate this to standard B. Okay, this should have been on my belt so I didn't have to come back down for it, but oh well. Okay, all right, we have all of our strands open. What we're gonna go ahead and do now is now terminate the cable. White, orange, orange, white, green. Dark blue, light blue, dark green, bright brown, brown. Okay. White, orange, orange, white, green, blue, blue, dark, blue, blah, 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 blah. okay. I hate when I can't put this in right. When you can't put it in right, you twist it together because you're becoming impatient. Okay. We have the cable made. I'm gonna mark my holes. Now, that's not coming out. Well, we'll deal with that another time. Now we're gonna go ahead and drill the holes for the camera mount. Here's the hammer. Okay. Now we grab 
the base. We line it up. Okay, there's one. Let's do the next one here. I love when it makes that sound. It means it's a, it's a pretty solid screw in there, you know? That's in there. But before we finalize this camera, let's see if make sure it powers up. Okay. So I went back inside and I checked to make sure to see if the the uh, POE injector, the POE Wi-Fi bridge was supplying power to this camera, and it was. So we're just gonna shove this cable in the wall. that right there grab the plate there you go put it on the center oh staying in place guess I got lucky okay now we got this camera mounted now I'm gonna get on the computer and program it. Okay, so here we are in the UI. This is needed to uh, connect your device to the network. I did a video on this, go look it back on it, you know, for the detailed instructions, but it's simple. English, scan for networks. We're gonna choose this one. And then this one will be. Okay, I'm connected. So when I refresh this, there it is. There's my boy. There is my boy. Okay, we're back in business. I had to be on the right, right Wi Fi network. Don't ask me why I have three different Wi Fi devices here, but I'm just weird and crazy. Okay. We're gonna type in that IP address 192.168.0.248. This IP address is gonna range. I typed it in wrong. Okay, I got in. Let's see if we can see the backyard now. There we go. We see the backyard now. Now we go to Averdex. Let's add this camera. I'm blurring this out because I manage a lot of camera systems. That's what my company's about. So I can't show any of this. Wrong account. There it is. Okay, we're in this DVR now. We're gonna go to settings. We're gonna click add camera. Discover devices. Let's see if it pops up. We might get lucky, we might not get lucky. All right, so it looks like we've got the camera added to the network. Sorry for the loud barking in the background. My neighbors don't know how to take care of a dog. They just neglect it. But we got it added to the DVR. It's displaying an image. It's ready to go. It was on very clean. And I'm really happy with that. So that's all everyone. Thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you on the next one.